Hey guys, my name is Rob Noir. I'm back with Dave playing another Atari game. This is one from his collection. Oh, it's, wow. It's called Yar's Revenge. It looks incredibly difficult. Yeah. We have no idea what it's about. There is a monologue here that I'm going to read. <clears throat> Incredible as it may seem, the Yars are actually descended from planet Earth's common housefly. It's playing as bugs. You're playing as bugs. Yeah, basically. You see, the wow. Yars' early ancestors launched themselves into space by stowing away in a crate of food. Supplies on board... Wow, they should have... Su food supplies on board of an interstellar spaceship. The spaceship crashed and... When the radioactive dust settled, they learned how to use proper punctuation. No, flies were the only survivors. But due to radioactive exposure, these flies were transformed into magnificent creatures possessing superpowers. They called themselves the Yars. <coughs> what the hell am I looking at here? That's a neutral zone. And so we thought the game was glitching, so we were trying to clean this, but this is just how the game is supposed to look. The Yars populated planets 3, 4, and 5 in the Razak solar system. They established <coughs> orderly and productive communities for a while, lived peacefully. Fortunately, the Yars had the foresight to prepare for the possibility of an enemy attack. They designed the powerful Zorlon cannon and were in the process of building it when the dreaded attack became a reality. Without warning, the ruthless, warmongering Kotile attacked the Yars' fourth planet and totally destroyed it and totally destroyed it? Since that infamous day, the Yars' top priority has been to drive the Kotile from their myths before more planets and Yars are lost. The Yars employ their strengths. They're un this is too much backstory for, wow. a, for space this invaders. This is freaking... It looks this intense. Is, this is really hard. I'll give it a go after, uh, after you do there. It definitely looks intense. Oh, you can destroy the shields. Yeah, well, that's what you you have to do. You gotta watch because that spinny thing will kill you, and that's a neutral zone. So, oof, and that when it hits you, it kills you. Oh yeah. This game program contains additional versions for your children. Maybe you're on the hard version, man. Oh, could be. I gotta say, this manual is pristine. Like this is in perfect condition. Yeah. So this is this was a good find, especially you said oh, it was like geez. five bucks. Okay, it restarts if you. Oh, I don't have to hit reset. No. Oh, that's, that's nice. <coughs> Helpful hints: When you destroy the Kotile or a Swirl, there will be an explosion during which Yar stays on the screen. Use this opportunity to make up your own victory dance. How is that a helpful hint? Um. How is that going to help anybody in the world? Watch out for the ghost of Yars. You'll see his mean streak. Games 0 and 1 are very easy versions. Don't be disappointed if you find game 2 difficult to master. So maybe you're on game 2. Want me to try switching the mode? Mm, no, it's okay. You think you got this? Not really, but you sound like you're in the zone a little bit here. No, because uh, it's it, it's actually a very easy game to control. Funny enough. Oh really? That's yeah, nice. It, it's got very good controls. It's not. Uh, it's not jerky like a hero. No. It's nice. Oh. You get you can't get hit by that because you lose a life completely. It, it's basically like 2D space in invaders. But very difficult because you have a massive thing that flies at you. Oh yeah. And you have a you have a piece of ammunition that flies. The 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 that that the glowing you. rectangle. Yeah. Yeah, that actually follows you. So I'm just waiting until it turns into that. You totally are a fly too. Yeah, I know. No, you're <coughs> yars. I like I like the blur when it moves. Like I find like that looks pretty nice. Now this is a neutral zone. But, what ha can it hurt you in the neutral zone? No. Oh, but you probably can't hurt it. In but if you're field. outside of the neutral zone, it, it will hurt. hurt you. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting, actually. Ooh. Damn. You got this, Dave. I believe in you. Show, yeah, show me, show me, show me your gamer skills. Uh, terrible. Your 1970s gamer skills. <laughs> Good luck with that. Uh, that's when this was made. I'm ish. Oh, come on. 
actually feels like a later oh, one. You want? You want to? It's 1981. You want me to have a go? Hang on. Whew. I mean, I mean, when you're done, I'll definitely give it a try. Yeah. There, I, I gotta, I gotta see for myself. So you can't shoot anything within that zone. Trying to get this bomb away from me. I gotta say, I'm not a fan of the noise <coughs> of your ship. Them dancing. Yeah, of course. They could have, they could have done something other than that. I would say. What is that in the middle? Though, is it like a bow and arrow? No, that that's the that's the thing that attacks you. But what is it supposed to be? Like you're supposed to be a fly. Oh, oh damn! Oh boy! You got this, man. I believe in you. All all the Atari fans out there in the world are are sending you their 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 power right now. Their energy. I wish you can they do this. Because I'm losing, right? <laughs> Well, they, you guys, you guys watch. You got to send more. You got to believe in Dave. Yeah. Believe in the power of Atari. Ooh, jeez. And not the Atari VCS, which has gotten canceled. The the old Atari, that VC existed once. VCS. Oh uh, yeah, the the name Atari was sold off to a new company who was making a console with it, and uh, yeah. yeah, it did not turn out well. Ooh. Oh, jeez. The lead designer hadn't gotten paid in like six months, so he quit. Are you serious? Yeah. And they were selling that thing. It was like a Kickstarter, and they were selling that thing for crazy amounts of money. Really? Oh, yeah. We're talking oh. like it was like six, seven hundred bucks. And they showed gameplay footage of the console running, but it wasn't actual. It was just like a mock-up, like... They didn't show anything actually running on the console. It was just a, it was just a disaster. Oh, oh damn! Is that your last life? Yeah, and it, you can reset it with the button automatically. That's good. I like that. Yeah. It's 1981, so it's a little bit after. Uh, that's pr that's fairly new, but it's it's really well made. The programming is. It seems seems pretty nice. And it's very fast paced. If I found this one, I would pick it up. I just happened to just pick this up at random. I didn't even know it was uh, this good a game. Sometimes, uh, sometimes you get lucky. So look, when I die again, <laughs> you want me to give it a go? Oh yeah, no, like when I when I have no more lives, and you have to reset to get the the numbers. Mm -hmm. You just have to press the button to start. Can you hurt the thing in the middle before you destroy the shield? Uh, I think it has to be spinning. Spinning to hurt it? Yeah, because uh, damn man, it's. I'm trying to get rid of the shield with that. Oh. You got one more. Again. Oh. Ho, 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 ho. So you want me to do it? Yeah, go. Alright, guys, it, I, I need your spirit energy. <coughs> oh, that was the last. Okay, there you go. Wow, this does control not too bad, eh? It's really well done. It won't hurt. That that spiral thing will still hurt you in the neutral zone. Oh, really? That's yeah, a, it's a, just that little block. You do not oh, want damn to hit it. you. Yeah. This will take you out right away. Now, you can go right above and it'll pop out of the bottom. Okay, that's useful. So you can go right across the screen and you... You gotta be careful of that thing. It's like a ninja star flying at you. Oh, you can shoot on an angle too, that's cool. Yeah. Oh! I was so close! Try to get that. There you go. Now what, though? Shoot at the thing in the center. Watch out oh, that's that. the max. That's as far as I can go. Yeah. Whew. The block won't hurt you in the neutral zone. Yeah. So. I don't know what. I don't know if I'm actually hurting it though. Wait till it, just try and. Wait till it goes into that mode where it starts spiraling like crazy. You think you gotta hit it with that? Yeah, when it when it's then doing that, just don't get hit by the brick. <coughs> if I hit it when it's doing that, I'm gonna die. Yeah, we just try and stay far enough away that you can dodge. As soon as it goes into that thing there. Oh! You just gotta be away from the brick. I wonder what that's supposed to be, the brick. It's a bomb. It's 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 like a heat seeking missile. See, it'll stay with you in there, so it follows you. Ah, oh, damn. See, I hit it, like... You probably have to be a bit closer, too. So 
So I would stay right in the middle of the screen and then move forward as soon as it changes to that. So I would just stay there, wait till he turns into that sh that flying ninja star. I'm, I'm glad that we finally got serious on one of these games. <laughs> now, go for it. Oh! oh. I, I don't I don't think that did anything yeah. special though. Yeah, you want to read in the manual? Yeah, I just want to Give me some deep lore here. They're no, super no. not really helpful, I gotta say. Cell, cell, zone, shield, okay. Destroy it. Guided missile put out by Quetel to destroy Yars, okay? Yeah, Yars are flies. Okay, so... Prime, the primary objective of the game is to break a path through the shield and destroy Kutile. A laser base like object, okay. With a blast from the Zorlon cannon. How do I use the Zorlon cannon? Okay, uh, I'm just gonna see Zorlon cannon pulsing. Scantilating fireball appears on left side of screen and traverses the screen horizontally. Okay, so it's when it when it goes across horizontally. That's the thing you have to catch. I gotta what? Yeah, there's a there's a cannon that goes across. What? I haven't seen it. Yeah, I know. I haven't either. You probably have to shoot. Are you it enough. sure? That's what it's marked in here. Oh, it's the score as. The secondary objective is to score as many points as possible. Yeah, well, I mean... I have not seen any kind of cannon, man. Other than that Destroy little the dot. Destroy tile. Laser base light eye, so... Yeah. Maybe you have to go from the side. I was trying from below. Oh, whoa, That's what it. the... What the... That's what you you don't want to get nailed by. What did, what did I do? That little rectangle. What, didn't I have to pick that rectangle up? No. You have to see if you can get the this thing to stay put when it's going by. So you, you probably have to get to the nose of it. Like, there. That's it. You see the rectangle in the other oh. end? Oh! Oh, I got it! I did it! There, you got it! <laughs> wow, okay! So now we figured out how to play the Yard's Revenge, man! Oh god! And that's what a shifting the shifting rectangle. Shit! Yeah. Okay. What? It, what? What? It, what is the shifty rectangle? What does this do? That's the shield. But how so do I? Got, how do I break through it? Well, you are. Every oh, time I you am. Shoot it's just it. taking a long, long time. Yeah. Just don't get hit by that square. I'm fine. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> See. Mad game. Everybody sent that energy for you, but you you bailed before, so it just it all got passed on to me. And like I'm just I'm just killing it, man, mm. with these mad well. Atari skills. <coughs> <coughs> Once you get rid of that shield, which is gonna take forever, but I'm really? trying. You almost got it. Yeah, this this little this little torpedo dot is really uh he's really messing with my skis. Well, yeah, it's supposed to. It's for the gameplay. This is actually. You know Quite what? We, hard. We, we've had two in a row that have actually been pretty fun. Like this and Hero were like solid gaming experiences. Oh, it hit me, damn you it. You shot yourself. Okay, okay so, come on, come so on. Wait, wait till that bar gets closer to you, then fly right up to it, and then shoot him. It is cool, too, that there's a zone in the screen that you can't fire in. Yeah. And you don't get fired on. Okay, there you go. Oh, I missed. Damn. Oh damn it! <laughs> I, I I was so not. Oh, I'm on level one again. Oh. Wait 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 wait. Oh, that also... didn't do it. Damn it! I thought that would put me on the. No, it, I think it runs faster now for the uh, star. Oh, you think? Yeah. So I just put it on hard mode, basically. I think so. I don't fire very fast either. Yeah. This depends on the level. But it's awesome the book is in such good shape oh. too. Oh yeah, man, that manual is pristine. Yeah, that's why I kept it in the package. <laughs> if you ever find the box, like that's probably worth like a uh, quite a lot of the money. The box will probably never be uh You can find them, they're just really rare. That's it. No, I think if you if you get that thing when it's spiraling hit with the cannon, you, you get like bonus points? Oh, yeah, I think so. I, I I'm not going to it's already tough enough. Yeah. Oh, damn. Oh, so close. 
Oh, I, I can't trigger it when he's in the spiral. Oh, really? Okay. You have to be close to him. There we go. Got him. Alright, level two on hard mode, apparently. We'll see how this works out. It'll mess with your freaking eyes, eh? Actually, you know what? This is when the two buttons are actually useful. I can double tap here. Oh, okay. You get a double shot with it. Well, it, it was designed so that um, you could play whether you're left or right-handed. Oh, okay. That's one of the things you can only play, I guess, when you're right-handed on the Atari. Otherwise, it just did not work. Yeah. Oh! Damn it, I keep flying into the neutral zone. It keeps her from getting that's, shot, at least with that rectangle thing. That, that's a weird Star Trek reference. Neutral zone? I've never heard it used in anything other than Star Trek. Uh, no, there's a, I think there's a couple other series that I think come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! So oh, close. Damn. I hope we're not waking that poor neighbor of yours up. Oh, if it's the guy upstairs, screw him. He's woken me up so many times. Oh, really? Yeah, he sucks. Oh. Oh, I'm damn. so good at leading the shots, too. Oh, shit. I just straight ran into him. Yeah. All right, come on, come on, little little peanut or whatever you are. What do flies dislike? I don't know too much about flies. I gotta bleach. say, bleach. <laughs> bleach? Have you been bleaching your flies? No, because they're not white. <laughs> oh, come on. Yes. Awesome. Now you're gonna probably get something more interesting. Yeah, it's getting good, eh? You it's, like this game, I take it. This one's fun. I, I'm just back yeah. to this again. Oh. It's it's going to be even faster, though. I, I don't think I have it in me, though, to do another round after I no, die. No, of course not. <laughs> uh, actually, after my first job that I got, a, I, I bought a PS2 with the money that they gave me for my stash. Okay. So I bought a PS2 and a VCR. <laughs> That's how I was at. Oh! Wow. That was mad skills, bro. Yeah. Elite gamer moments. That's awesome. <coughs> All right, come on, you bitch. Yes. Oh, you got him at the. Oh. I'm getting, I'm getting not too bad at this actually. Yeah, you know what they say, practice makes perfect. Yeah, you were talking about a cabinet. Yeah, it, 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 actually, the cabinet itself don't get hit. Ooh. Uh, the cabinet itself is like, uh, you know if you have a bedroom that doesn't have a cupboard? Mm -hmm. This would replace the cupboard for hanging clothes in. Okay, yeah. Uh, so there's Like an ar armoire? Yeah, something called? like that, but it was skinny. Mm -hmm. About the size of your TV there. Okay. So my plan was, I said, well, I want to make a cabinet that I can put all my audio video stuff in. Okay. So it's a nice wood cabinet. So it has the doors with all the veneer on it. So what I did is I started making a liner. Now it's still in my parents' place, and it's a project that it's over 20 years that I still haven't finished. Okay. But my plan is, because I want to finish it finally, is the, the panels in the front, which are veneer panels, I want to take the veneer out. Okay. And put plexiglass. Okay. So you have the wood frame. I, I am paying attention, by the way. I'm just yeah. also yeah. hyper-focused right the, now. You'll have the wood frame with the plexiglass panels replacing the veneer. Mm -hmm. And then you can put your all your audio video, and it's going to be tinted. Oh! He uh, spun when I did it. Uh, yeah. See, so instead of having the veneer, you're gonna have a tinted plexiglass. Okay. It's like a blackish mm -hmm. tinted plexiglass. Mm -hmm. And then you have all your audio video equipment, so it's like an actual cabinet for audio video, but oh, I'm making cool. it out of old furniture. That's cool. Oh, you. He spun the moment I went to him. Oh, I mean the the whole thing spun. Oh, he turned into. Oh, I hit the thing. Ah. Uh. I don't think I got another run in me, man. That's too much, eh? This game's intense. Oh, can the shield kill me? I wanna, I wanna test this. You're just bumping into it. Yeah. Like an insect. It, it doesn't actually hurt me. Yeah, it's like an insect. Look. Oh, you don't have to break all the shield. No, you have to get close, I guess. You just gotta get close enough to touch him. Or nearly. It sounds like a. It sounds like an insect. Oh, but it break. It hits the shield. Yeah, but it sounds like. Oh. It sounds like an insect going after sugar. Yeah, a little like the. Yeah, yeah, yeah a little. <laughs> 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 
That was fun, man. That was a good yeah. time, actually. Yeah. So it's a good game that I picked up for ten bucks. Yeah, with manual man, like that's a very yeah. good deal. And he had he had a few of them. I think he even had the Pac Man ones with the manuals. Yeah, like, th um, those must exist. I mean, they're so common. No, but he right? had it like this. That's cool. Uh, I think it was uh, Pac Man and Mrs. Pac Man. Yeah. Okay. With the manuals. That's pretty cool. So it was in a pack for about ten bucks a piece. The the boxes are hard to find. They're worse than the NES ones, and they're like thirty years <coughs> old. So. Well, NES came out when? 85, 84? Depends on Japan. Yeah. But uh, yeah, guys, so that's going to be yeah. it. That was uh, Yara's Revenge. I would actually highly <coughs> recommend this one if you're yeah, an Atari fan. A, this is a pretty good game, even for me that hasn't played a lot of video games for a long time, especially the old hardcore ones. I mean, it's you fairly easy to control. You got to so. practice to get used to it, but it yeah. does control well, even on like an emulator console. So. Yeah. But uh, yeah, guys, thanks a lot for watching. We hope you enjoyed, and as always, we'll see you in the next one.